Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A daily update from the Ukrainian front. One Ukrainian article, one Russian article. Let's see how these guys are lying to us. Because they all lie, we know that, right? So, Ukraine form. Today being the July 13th, 2023. War update. Fierce battles raging in five directions. The same thing yesterday and the day before and so on. In the past 24 hours, about 20 combat engagements have occurred in the Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Marinka directions. The same ones. Fierce battles are underway. So let's see where Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka, Marinka are. Ram pam pam, this is the Russian update. Here, right here. This is Luhansk, this is Donetsk, this is Aporozhye, this is Kherson, this is Kar Kharkiv. All right, this is... Uh, 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 Crimean Peninsula. So, the whole thing occurred on this area. All right, from here to here. This right here, they say Liman, but it's not Liman over here. Liman Perry. So, this is Riman. That's one Liman, and that's another Liman right here. Right here. It's another Liman right here. And then you have right here you have Kupiansk. So Liman, this Liman, you got Kupiansk and then, but they start with, let me see, they start with Kupiansk and then they go south. So Kupiansk is north, Liman is south, 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 south. So this Liman must be south of Kupiansk, therefore they're talking about not that Liman by Kupiansk, because that would be north, it would stay Liman, Kupiansk, uh, Bakhmut. That means it's Kupiansk, if this guy's still logic and there is Liman and then you go down here and you got to Artemovsk Av Avdivka here Artemovsk here the, the Russians don't even and this is Bakhmut right here and then it's Avdivka right here and then is Marinka right here so this is how the front the five directions are starting from here to here from Luhansk or if you want uh, to Kharkiv Kharkiv Oblast right here, going down to almost Zaporozhye Oblast. All right, let's see Ukrainians. Over the past day, Russian invaders have launched a missile and air attack on Ukraine's territory. Using two caliber type cruise missiles, one Iskander M ballistic missile and 20 Iranian made Shahed 136-131 loitering munitions. Ukraine's air defenses units intercepted two enemy caliber missiles and 20 suicide drones. Nothing about the Iskander ballistic missile. I covered that earlier this morning with a video, a little bit more detail, even though they uh, didn't say anything about Iskander then either. So additionally, Russian occupiers launched 46 airstrikes and opened fire with multiple launch rocket systems about 40 times. Okay, and we move here. Meanwhile, Russian troops continue to focus focusing efforts in Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Marinka directions. That's the same thing as up there. Then the Ukrainians always start with uh, talking about an, uh, a little summary of whatever happened, which I already read. And then they're going to start, hey, what happened here by Belarus? Nothing. And then I go down here by uh, Kursk, Bryansk and uh, uh, Belgorod this area and then they're gonna go east and then gonna southeast and they're gonna go south just so you know uh, how they move they're gonna go like this pop, 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 pop. in the Volin and Polisia directions the operational situation remained rather unchanged no enemy offensive groupings were detected certain Belarusian units let me do like this maybe it's better certain Belarusian units are completely uh, completing tasks within the areas bordering with Ukraine in the Siversky and uh, uh, Slobozansky directions, Russians are maintaining military presence. The enemy launched an airstrike near the Kharkiv regions uh, and attacked over 15 settlements with artillery and mortars. Now, they go to Kupiansk, where I showed you Kupiansk, then Liman. In the Kupiansk direction, Ukrainian warriors are firmly holding defense. That means the Russians are attacking, are in the offense. Otherwise, you would not hold defense. The enemy launched an airstrike near the Kharkiv region's Kislivka and opened fire with artillery and mortars on Stroivka, Kresnia Persie, and about three more uh, settlements 
and Kupiansk itself. In the Liman direction, we go south a little bit. Uh, Russian invaders conducted unsuccessful offensive directions to the east of the Luhansk regions, Nevsky and Donetsk region, Tierny. The enemy launched airstrikes in, uh, uh, near Bilohorivka, Luhansk regions, Nevsky and Bilohorivka. Over 10 settlements were affected by Russian artillery strikes. So let's go to the Russians and see what they say about the Kupiansk and Liman. Okay? So, um, where you see these blue things here, the little dots, this is where the Ukrainians, according to the Russians, shell Russian territory in Russia and they claim its villages and towns and casualties and all that. They say the same thing as the Ukrainians say for the red dots right here. The red dots is where the Russians are uh, shelling Ukrainian positions. I was showing you without that. Here you go. Again. Jesus Christ. All right. Here it is. The blue dots I was talking about. And here we go to these ones. So uh, Kupiansk. Let's see what the Russians are saying. The Zapad battle group hammered Ukrainian troops and military equipment using operational, tactical and army aviation as well as artillery strikes. Here, the same thing. Down here, the same thing. And here is uh, the black dot is where the, supposedly the Russians and the Ukrainians meet face to face with uh, military personnel. The center battle group struck Ukrainian troops and military equipment using air and artillery strikes. Here, this is a drone. Russian air defenses shot down a Ukrainian drone, here another drone, yes another drone, three drones, four drones, two drones, oh two, and then two, and then uh, three, and then four, five, six, so six drones right here. And let's see what the Russians say they did in Liman. The Central Battle Group struck Ukrainian troops and military equipment, we got that one, and here Russian forces destroyed an ammunition depot of Ukraine's 125th Territorial Defense Brigade. This is Liman. And here, the Yug battle group successfully repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops. That means they were in the defensive and the Ukrainians were in the offensive. And after this, we're going to go south a little bit to Artemovsk, right here. This is Artemovsk. Let's see what the Russians did here. Russian forces destroyed a US made AN slash TPQ 50 lightweight counter mortar radar lcmr and here russian forces thwarted the activity of a ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group and destroyed an ammunition depot of ukraine's 28th mechanized brigade here another drone destroyed by the russians and these blue ones are ukrainians shelling uh, russian positions but the russians will say hey the city was hit and all that i don't read those kind of things all right, so we go in the Bakhmut direction, where I already read, under extensive air and artillery strikes, Ukraine, Ukrainian defenders repelled all enemy attacks. That means the Russians were attacking. Over 15 settlements were affected by Russian artillery strikes. Now we go south in the Avdivka direction. The enemy launched an airstrike near Avdivka. Over 10 settlements were affected by Russian artillery strikes. So that is, Avdivka is, this is Bakhmut right here, Artemovsk. We go to Avdivka right here. As it shows this map, according to the Russians, you see how this is almost surrounded? So I don't know what the Ukrainians want here. You see this little uh, highway here? It's still uh, uh, supplies of Divka. Let's see what the Russians are saying. The Yug battle group successfully repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops. So <laughs> the Russians say that the, the Ukrainians are attacking, the other guys say the Russians are attacking. Let's pick this one here. Ukrainian forces fired 20 MLRS rockets and 28 155 millimeter uh, 152 millimeter shells at the city. So, as I said, now we're going to go to Marinka right here. I'm going to use the Russians first and then I'm going to go to the Ukrainians. The Yug battle group successfully repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops. So they are in the defensive. Marinka repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops and this one right here the same thing. So this is supposedly the Ukrainians are in the offensive. Let's see what they say about it. All right. In the Marinka direction, Ukrainian forces continue holding back Russia's onslaught near Marinka. Okay. Over 10 settlements were affected by Russian shelling. We go into Sharktask direction. Russian troops conducted unsuccessful offensive actions near the Donetsk regions Novomikhailivka and launched an airstrike near the Donetsk region's Makarivka. The enemy shelling affected the Donetsk region, 
tra la lu lu la la la. So that is, I'm going to show you where what the Ukrainians are talking about. It's right here in this area right here, where the Russians say, using heavy flamethrower systems and artillery strikes, the Vostok battle group successfully thwarted attempts by Ukrainian troops to carry out an attack. I think the Ukrainians said that actually the Russians were attacking. Anyway, let's hear. Ukrainian forces fired 10 155mm shells at the village. Again, here, the Russian air defense shot down two Ukrainian drones. And here, using the same thing as that one over here. And here is probably another drone. We are in Zaporozhia. Yeah, two Ukrainian drones. They destroyed two Ukrainian drones. And the next one is going to be Zaporozhia, this way. But let's see what the Ukrainians say. In the Zaporozhia and Kherson directions, these are the last two. Uh, oblast which are in the south here this is Zaporozhia this is the Kherson so let's see what the uh, Ukraine is saying it happens in Zaporozhia and Kherson Russian troops are focusing effort to prevent Ukrainian forces from advancing finally so the Ukrainians are saying that they are advancing or trying to advance finally the offensive the enemy launched airstrikes near the Zaporozhia's region Priutnia and the Kherson's region Kozatskia. Over 20 settlements were affected by Russian artillery strikes. And now they end usually with another little summary at the end. At the same time, Ukraine defense forces continue conducting the offensive operation in the Melitopol and Berdyansk directions, gaining foothold within the recaptured frontiers and carrying out counter battery measures. So, over the past day, Ukraine's air forces have launched five strikes on enemy personal clusters and two strikes on Russian surface-to-air missile systems. Ukrainian missile and artillery units hit one Russian, Russian personnel, ammunition and military equipment cluster, 10 artillery systems in firing position and one electronic warfare system. Wow, you've been successful! Let's see what the Russians are saying. So, here. In Zaporozhia, Russian forces successfully repelled an attack by the Ukrainian units of the 65th Mechanized Brigade. Finally, they match. Finally, the Ukrainians and the Russians match in their reporting and the update. So, yes, the Ukrainians are trying to break through here. And here, Russian forces wiped out Ukrainian troops and military equipment of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade. And here is two drones were destroyed by the Russians. So this is in Zaporozhye. And we're going to move in Kherson. Let's see what the Russians claim they did. Units of the Dnieper battle group destroyed a position of Ukrainian troops. And here, the same thing. Now let's see what the Ukrainians are, uh, the Russians are saying about Ukrainian shelling. Ukrainian forces shelled the city civilian infrastructure. That's why I don't read these things. And here we have units of the Dnieper battle group thwarted an attempt by Ukrainian troops to cross the Dnieper River. I don't read these things because the Ukrainians claim that Russians are blowing their civilians and civilian infrastructure, and I'm pretty sure that happens. And then the, the, the Russians claim that Ukrainians are doing that to them, which I'm pretty sure it happens. So I'm putting that to the side because they will always try to uh, create empathy, and uh, I, empathy is not a good uh, thing to, uh, you know, investigate certain things and be try to be objective with empathy you know i can make you do whatever i want and i don't like that thing with empathy leave the empathy to empathy the situations here is war i want to know what happened who did what well they did kill civilians okay every time i will start a video i will say and the russians killed civilians the ukrainians killed civilians the russians destroyed civilian infrastructure the ukrainians uh, destroyed russian civilian infrastructure got it as a disclaimer at every little thing. And then what? So, this is it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.